Hey, I'm Zach from Now You Know. Welcome to this final episode on our boring tunnel future. Thanks for joining me on this exploration of how the world is about to change. Let's explore how the introduction of EV tunnels is about to change our everyday world. I'm glad you're starting to imagine what this future is going to look like because our imaginings help create the changes we desire. If the majority of people are expecting these changes to be built, then our politicians will be guided to pass bills to create the changes we envision. First though, we need to understand the potential. We need a vision of how to change our current world of congested stop and go traffic. I would argue that many of the decisions you make during the day are impacted by where you are. And where you are is impacted by a series of decisions you have made so far in your life about where you should live and work. Now, those decisions, either consciously or unconsciously, were made with a calculation about transportation. Should I apply for that job or is it too far from my house? Should I live over there or is it too far from work? Or too far from the beach or too close to the highway or not close enough to a train station? If tomorrow the company you worked for moved closer to your home, if it was literally a block away from your house, wouldn't you be jumping for joy? I don't think we can even imagine what life in a big city would be like if there was no traffic, no congestion, no air pollution. If we could all get around easily, quickly, and in comfort without having to worry about driving and directions and traffic and being late. But inevitably, when you start imagining this fantastic future, there are people who want to burst your bubble. These boring tunnels aren't gonna reduce traffic because they'll just be for rich people who can afford the fancy electric cars and the tolls. Most of us will be still stuck up here in traffic. Wrong. First of all, not everyone has to travel by tunnel every day to reduce traffic. If just 25% of vehicles are removed from a city's roads by the boring company's tunnels, then traffic congestion will be eliminated. Even if you use the freeway with your gasoline car, you will enjoy the fact that the tunnels have eliminated rush hour stop and go traffic. Tunnels improve the commute for people using the tunnels and also for people using surface freeways. And this reduction in congestion and the increased sales of autonomous EVs, which we discussed in previous episodes, will mean fewer and fewer ice cars, which means cleaner and cleaner air and better health for everybody. Imagine your city, but now with no traffic jams and better air quality. You won't have to own an EV to use the high-speed tunnels. You will be able to call an EV Uber, an EV Lyft, or call one using your Tesla app whenever you need. Just like an Uber today. Cheap, fast, safe transportation on demand. The sped up adoption of autonomous EVs and EV robo-taxis will reduce the number of cars on the road because they will be being used more efficiently, which means a huge savings in capital costs, maintenance, and fuel costs. It'll free up capital and resources that we can spend on other things besides polluting ice cars. With fewer cars around, there is less need for parking, so thousands of parking lots and garages and parking spaces will not be needed anymore and instead can be used for parks and public spaces and open space and schools and housing. Parks replace parking lots. In the last industrial revolution, the increased efficiencies gained by automating the creation of goods meant that more people had more free time, time that wasn't spent working for a living. We lose billions of hours every year to traffic as a part of our jobs. In our boring tunnel future, we will get much of that back. You will get back time, one of our most valuable resources, time. Time to spend with your friends and loved ones. Time for yourself instead of time wasted accomplishing nothing in traffic. We will spend less time commuting. And the time you do spend commuting won't be behind a steering wheel driving the car. It will be in a vehicle, but you will be able to do so much more. Read, watch a movie, get some work done, catch up on emails before and after the day's work at the office, exercise, face time with other people in virtual meetings, play games, relax, sleep, or spend it with other people in the car with you because cars will no longer be designed with everyone facing forward with steering wheels. They won't be designed for driving, they'll instead be designed for enjoying life and relaxing. I know what you're thinking. Well, Zach, this just sounds too good to be true. I mean, I know you said it'll be awesome and even cost less, but there has to be a downside. It can't possibly be all good without a downside. What about all the jobs that are gonna be lost? The taxi drivers and the truck drivers and the ice car mechanics? You are right. Inevitably, jobs will be lost. 
there will be less need for taxi drivers and truck drivers and ice mechanics, but just like the advent of every new technology before, there will be more jobs created. This is a historical fact. After every new technological revolution that ends certain jobs, there are more new jobs created. They just won't look like today's jobs. Do you know what the phrase, go get me a computer meant in 1950? It meant, go get me a person that uses pencil and paper to run calculations. A computer was a person that computed. Today, a computer is a machine, and we've completely forgotten the old career of computing that every company used to have as a major part of its business organization. Today, people that might have worked as a computer in the past take on different and more productive jobs. There will be mobile massage therapists who give you a massage while you commute to work, and there will be computer scientists who help build these robo-taxi networks. And there'll be engineers to design new robots which will build more robo-taxis. And jobs we can't even think of. I mean, could we have predicted all the jobs we have today before this new technology came along? 20 years ago, did any of us think that smartphone app developers would be a career? Things we can't even imagine will change. Travel and tourism will increase because the cost and time spent in transit will go way down. We'll have so much more time and who knows what this will lead to. More happiness for one thing. It's going to be hard to put a price on the feeling you'll have when you get out of a vehicle and aren't stressed out and upset at your fellow commuters. The stress and the road rage caused by endless commuting will be a thing of the past. I'm excited about what our transportation future will bring us. I look forward to the day when a news report about an accident on the roads is an oddity. I look forward to the day when the 171,000 annual vehicle fires involving gasoline car crashes are eliminated, along with the 345 deaths and the $1.1 billion in property losses. When we get our air back, our time back, our sanity back. And if this disruption is anything like what Elon has already brought us, mark my words, it's gonna happen a lot faster than you might think. When the Boring Company has built tunnels beneath the majority of freeways across the US and about 25% or more of the surface traffic has gone into the tunnels, then the traffic on the surface freeways will also be free of congestion and everyone will enjoy an easier commute, whether inside or out of the new EV tunnels. But first, the Boring Company needs to build a real working freeway tunnel to prove that they function as envisioned in this series of shows. We need the first EV tunnel to be built along a real route so that everyone can see that congestion on the surface freeway is improved as the use of EV tunnels grow. I-405 in California is the perfect place to demonstrate this effect, and the sooner the better, in my opinion. Thank you for coming along for the ride on this series, exploring our boring tunnel future. Now you know. Thanks so much for watching Now You Know. We work hard to bring you videos about things that we think you'll find useful, but we need to know from you what you want to see, so leave your comments below. Also, don't forget to go over to our Patreon page, where for as little as a buck a month, you can watch our Patreon bonus story every week on Tesla Time News. Thanks again. We'll see you soon.